Today I'm doing a, another product review. This time I got the Launch Sea Reader or Creator Elite Scan Tool. And as you can see, this one says uh, GM. So it has GM software already downloaded on it. You can check other vehicle manufacturers with it. it just doesn't have as many capabilities. And you can get this on Amazon for under $200. And this is a bi-directional scan tool. Um, so you can pretty much get in and do similar things to what a dealership can do for under $200, which is pretty good. They also have other vehicle manufacturers. I think right now all they got is like BMW, Audi. I already took this out of the package, updated it and everything. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like in the package. And you can see all the stuff uh, you can do with it. It's a OBD2, it says you can do graphing, DTC trouble codes, it is upgradable. Uh, it has a mall, which is a store where you can uh, actually download more things from uh, other vehicle manufacturers or uh, just other types of software. Uh, you can do reports, diagnostic feedback, and it's multilingual. Flip around here real quick. And so this is based off the Android platform. So pretty much what it is is a mini Android tablet. And then the LCD is a four inch display on that. So go ahead and open it here and I'll show you what's all included. So it does come with uh, two booklets here. This is just a quick start guide. Uh, you can see it comes in a bunch of different languages. And then uh, your user manual, which is uh, pretty much looks like it's all in English here. And then it also includes a cable and you can see one end is a USB-C while the other is a USB-A. And it's nice to see this uh, USB-C, especially because that's pretty much what everything's going to now. And then here's the actual scan tool. So as you can see, it's just like a pretty much a mini tablet here. It's got a nice protective coating around it. Feels, feels like it's built really well. And uh, it's kind of rugged with this rubber around it, so it could probably withstand some drops and everything. And then you see the other end. It's the OBD2 16 pin. I'd say the cord on it is actually pretty long. I'd say maybe close to three feet or so. Also included this uh, little cap here, which I'm assuming is just to protect the uh, pins on it. Flip it over here. So at the bottom here, if I can get this open. So you got this little dust cover here. And if you look in there, you can see you can hook up a mini SD card there. And then of course that's where your USB-C goes. And then it looks like it got a little pinhole here for if you need to do a reset on it, if it locks up on you. Like I said earlier, I already updated this and everything. Uh, it's real simple to do. This actually connects to your Wi-Fi, So you don't need to use a computer to hook this up to. You can just use a Wi-Fi network and it's all over Wi-Fi to update it. And then you can just plug it into a, you know, wall charger or something that has USB-A. And then of course, plug in your USB-C here at the bottom. As you can see also, just like normal Android tablet, you got your home button, your back button. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug this in. The only um, GM product I have right now is actually my work truck. And this is just a basic work truck but it's a 2010 Chevy Silverado. All right, so as soon as I plug it in, as you can see, it starts to fire up here. So we'll go ahead and let that boot up. Okay, so that went ahead and booted up. Like I said, the first time you guys using this, you'll have to update it. Um, there's all the user agreements you have to agree to, get it set up on your Wi-Fi language and all that. And then it'll ask for your time zone and everything. So on the first startup here, you can see it's got a little battery icon at the top there that's showing your battery level on the vehicle that it's plugged into right now. So you get diagnose, which will be specifically for the GM software. And then you got the OBD2, which you'll use on other vehicle manufacturers, which is uh, pretty basic, just checking, you know, codes and that. Just doesn't have as many options as a diagnose since this is specifically for the GM models. You got your reset which collaborates with the OBD2. And then of course you can upgrade uh, the mall, which is the uh, store, the launch store, where you can download uh, different types of software, whatever you're looking for. And then of course settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the settings here and you can see you can change units of measurement. You know, you got brightness, sound, of course your network, time zone, language, and then your expiration date, click on that. 
Okay, so that took a minute to load there. As you can see, this actually expires in 10 years. So this software and updates must be good for 10 years, I'm assuming. You can see that says 2032 on it. So you got your workshop information. Um, you can put in just your name or if, if you're a shop, put in your shop name, your address, telephone. And uh, you can also do an email because you can uh, share, you know, the T DTC codes or whatever's popping up. You can share it with yourself through email. Uh, that's what's nice about having it connected to Wi-Fi. Or you can uh, share it to the customer that you're scanning it for so you can actually show them what the uh, codes are popping up for the vehicle. Also, you can enable screen capture. So instead of, you know, scanning it, taking a picture with your phone, you can actually just take a screenshot of it and it'll save it. It looks like you can also clean up the cache and all that as well. So let me go ahead and hit try the home button here. You see that brings you right back to the home. Let's check out the mall. And for in order to access this, you probably have to have it uh, connected to a Wi-Fi or something. For some reason, I can't get that to load. I'm not sure if I need to update it. So let me go ahead and hit home again here. All right, so... Uh, like I said, OBD2 is for uh, if you're trying to scan something else other than a GM with this one. Uh, let's go ahead and try a diagnose here. And as you can see, so you can do a demo and it can show you pretty much how to use the tool and everything. It goes through all the modules showing you how to uh, look at stuff. And then, of course, you see you got your Buick, Cadillac, Chevy, and GM. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work for Oldsmobile or Pontiac uh, since those are GM products. So really not sure if it'll work for those. But let's go ahead and do the auto detect, which will auto detect our VIN number here. So let me go ahead and turn my key once to accessory here. Let's turn this air off. So uh, go ahead and click on that. And you can see it starts scanning, going through a bunch of different letters and numbers, trying to identify the VIN number here. And you can see that's actually pretty quick. That's correct, a 2010 GM uh silverado there so go ahead and hit okay uh so this does have the six speed automatic oh just hit back six speed automatic uh this does have the manual transfer case since it's a work truck that's one thing i don't it's can you got to kind of get your finger just right on the screen for it to work okay air conditioning uh, this does not have, as you can see, it's just manual. So go ahead and click manual here. Trailer brake. Uh, this does not have trailer brake. And this is equal to or over 86 because it's a 3500 Silverado. And does not have vehicle stability enhancement. Brake system. RPO... J7, not really sure what that is, but I'm assuming it's probably without. And then a leveling system, of course, this does not have a leveling system. All right, so now it's going to go through all every single module that is on this truck from the uh, ECM, TCM, uh, go through the radio, it looks like body control module. So we'll go ahead and let it do its thing here. So that does take a little bit to go through each module. And then you can see, you've got your van, uh, model and year and all that. And then of course, if you put in your shop name or address, any of that would be on there. And you can share, like I was saying, you can go down here, click on share. You can put in some comments or whatever, message, nickname, and uh, send that to whoever you want to. Let me go ahead and go back here. And then if you scroll down here, you can see there's quite a few issues with this truck, which I already knew. My check engine light is on. Uh, I just haven't had time to take it in because they won't let me work on this. Uh, we have a contractor that works on our vehicles. But you can see engine control module there. Looks like we got three codes that are popping up here. And then it tells you the code name, pretty much a little bit about it. So I think, not sure if we can click on it. doesn't look like so. Yeah, so it doesn't look like you can click on it. it. Tells you a little description on it. Transmission control module here. You can see I lost communications with the analog brake system. Lost communications with engine control module. So there's quite a bit wrong with this truck. I should probably take it in, I guess. Lost communication with radio. 
which could be because I have an aftermarket radio in here for Bluetooth. So I'm assuming that's probably what that code's popping up for. You can see HVAC controls, instrument cluster, uh, remote control door lock receiver, theft deterrent module. So you can see all the different modules and this is just a basic work truck. So if you guys have a newer uh, vehicle that's you know top of the line model, I'm sure you'll have a lot more modules to choose from. So as you can see, like I said, it'll throw a code for whatever modular is acting up here. So if we hit back, and this brings up each control module again. So if we go to engine control module here, so you can do uh, evacuation test. So if you wanted to do engine speed control, you can click on that. And you can see it says place transmission and park in neutral, set the parking brake, block the driver wheels, start and idle the engine. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and start it here. So hit OK. So what's cool about this, if you needed to uh, increase the engine RPM, so say you're charging the AC system or something, you need to rev it up to 2500. What you can do is you can click on engine speed control and then you can do decrease or increase um, also you can change uh, the step up size so if it's just going by 25 rpm um, so say you wanted to increase that you come up here and hit the wrong button here it's really touchy sometimes you hit this home button when you're trying to hit this increase so if I go ahead and start increasing you can see the rpm start to climb here So that's kind of neat and it'll hold it for there for you so let's go ahead and decrease this back down here so let's see let's try um, read data stream here uh, let's go with engine data so you can see there's a bunch of different options you can choose from let's try ambient air temperature uh, let's go with uh, engine load and engine coolant temperature sensor. So you can select those, hit OK. And then you can see it brings them up. So our ambient air temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. Engine coolant temp right now is 91 degrees Celsius. And then our engine load at a uh, bounce around between 28 and 29% there. And then I think you can click on this. And then you can see it gives you a little graph there. So if I rev the engine here a little bit, let's see what load it has on it. So you can see it graphs that out. So it looks like you can actually report this as well or record it if you wanted to. So let's go back. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the body control module here. Um, let's see what special functions it has. Setup sensing, nice module, primary key, and body control module. So with this scan tool as well, you can also set up um, smart keys. So if you needed to reprogram a key or say you lost a key, uh, which this truck does not take because it's not high tech like that. But say you lost a key and you needed to uh, delete that key because you don't want somebody uh, just go ahead and unlocking it and driving off with it. You can do that as well with this scan tool. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this one um, let's go to doors here so if you had power windows um, you can check your motor to make sure your motors working so say you had a um, your power window wasn't working when you hit the switch on the uh, driver's side here so you can actually use this to uh, roll down that window it'll send a, a signal to the window motor and roll it down then you'll know that it's uh within the switch and not the motor so you know the motor's working so then you'll have to investigate the switch uh, but this is just a work truck so it has manual windows um, so you can do all the same with uh, your lighting here so if you needed to test any of your lights turn signals you can do that uh, let's see what's under miscellaneous 
So looks like you got your horn here. So if I click on that, so say you're hitting your steering wheel here and your horn's not going off. So you're not sure if it's your horn that's bad or if your uh, steering wheel switch is bad here. You can go ahead and try this. So we'll go ahead and try it. And you can just click on. And then I clicked off. I don't want to piss off my neighbors. What else we got? As you can see, um, looks like your wiper relay. So if you wanted to uh, turn on your wipers here, you could. Let me adjust my camera here. So you, you can just hit on. So say your uh, wipers weren't working on your switch here. So you weren't sure if it was the wiper motor or if it's in the switch again, which as you can see, wiper motor is working. Let's see what else. You can also do your windshield wiper washer motor. Let's see what that does here. As you can see, it's spraying my washer motor. So we'll turn that off and not waste our fluid here. So instrument cluster here. And let's see what we can do with this one here. So say you weren't sure if the uh, all your instrument lights were working here. You can see if a lamp's out. So if you click on, you can see that turns on all those for you. So kind of like a test. And you can hit off. Um, if you want to do a sweep. And actually, I think I hit the wrong button here. So you want to sweep your gauges. Uh, let's try that. Of course, it's running, so it may not work. Oh, I guess it does. So you can see that tests all your gauges there. Does the full sweep on them. So now let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, let's take a look at our HVAC control module here. So again, you can read all that module information. Bunch of different stuff. Build date and all that. Let's see what we can do on the HVAC. So if you wanted to check your blower motor here to see if that was working correctly, let's try that. You can see that turns it on for a second there. So a bunch of other stuff here. So um, not sure what this remote control door lock receiver is. Okay, so that's showing your uh, tire pressure TPMS sensors there. So there you go. So if you needed to program key fobs, you can do it there. Uh, tire tire pressure selection. So if you want to increase your pressure selection there to change when your light comes on in that. Um, and you can also TPMS uh, learn mode as well. So you can learn a new sensor on here. So say you want to take this screenshot, let's just try it. So you hit the camera there and then it says screenshot saved. So I'm assuming that's probably down here. Yep, right there, so in your image. So you can see that took a picture screenshot of that and then it stores it in the image down here. Let's try this mall again here. So as you can see, for me to access the store, I had to uh, install an update here. As you can see, there's the little Android man there. So we'll go ahead and let this do its update. So that finished up with the updates and now I can access the mall or the store. And as you can see, uh, so you can pay for different programs that you wanna download onto the ta or, uh, scan tool here. So you got ABS bleeding, if you wanted to do that. Um, you got the whole Acura, so say you have a bunch of GMs, uh, but you do own an Acura as well. You can actually download the Acura software as well, so that way you got two uh, bi-directional scan tools uh, for two of your vehicles. Um, as you can see, the list goes on, BMW, pretty much anything you can think of. Um, 
bunch of different stuff on here um, but there is a fee associated with those so if you guys are buying this uh, scan tool like I said they have the Audi BMW GM a bunch of different other ones so you want to go with whatever you got there's Honda some more Honda stuff Acura so a bunch of different stuff you can actually uh, buy and download as well onto here so another thing I want to show you real quick here so you can see you got your Buick, Cadillac, Chevy, GM. So if you go down here to GM, you can show the version it has. And if you scroll down here, it shows you what all it can do. It's a bunch of different stuff on here. And then it also shows what it covers. So like I said earlier, I wasn't sure if this would cover Oldsmobile, Pontiac. But if you look at the list down here, so you got Grand Am, Grand Prix. Those are all Pontiac. So this will cover Oldsmobile and Pontiac so Oldsmobile 88 Regency so yeah this will cover all those as well so something else I want to show you real quick here too if you go to settings scroll down to data and then you can DTC library so if you put that in and then our code was P0442 hit OK and you can see it brings it up tells you what it is and then it tells you a little bit about it uh, so kind of what's going on so that's kind of neat all right so I'm not gonna spend all night on this it's getting kind of dark out um, there's a lot more that I can show you on this I just don't have the time I just wanted to do a kind of a quick review on it and I do know there's a way I was trying to figure it out but I'm not sure how to do it to where you can uh, if you're connected to Wi-Fi you can surf the web on here so say you have a issue and you want to look up that DTC code and then you can uh, search through Google. You can actually watch a YouTube video on here if you wanted to. Uh, just can't figure out how to do that, but I know you can do it on this uh, scan tool. So before I go ahead and wrap this video up, let's go ahead and try this on an older model, my uh, 2003 Ford Focus, and let's see what it brings up under the OBD2 since it's not a GM. All right, so now I am in my 2003 Ford Focus. So really quick here, let's just go ahead and see what we could do with the OBD2. So it looks like it's going through a few things here. Uh, just seeing if this has it or not. Okay, so as you can see, so it did scan it. DTCs in this ECU, it's showing zero. Readiness completed. Downstream supported. So it tells you a little bit about it. Uh, it doesn't recognize the VIN though. Um, so yeah, it looks like you can check DTC codes on this. There is none showing up on this as of right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, again, this was just a quick uh, overview of the Launch Creator Elite uh, scan tool, specifically for GM models. And like I said earlier, they do make other models and manufacturers for this. Uh, Launch is also a well-known brand in the uh, automotive repair, especially with scan tools. And uh, like I said, this is going for under $200 right now on Amazon. I think with the coupon, you can get it for $150, which is well worth it for as much as this scan tool can do. It's pretty much what dealerships can do. And this will pay for itself, um, which is like one and a half visits to a dealership because they usually charge you $80 to $100 just to diagnose your car and then whatever parts and everything. So well worth it. Um, as far as pros and cons, I would say pros, it's nice, lightweight compact um runs off the android system and it's uh actually really fast for the size i was surprised by that and just the live data uh screenshots everything you can do with this uh definitely like it as far as the cons i would say uh the touch screen you got to get it just right with your fingers and then also the wi-fi um not sure if you guys saw it in the video but the wi-fi would drop out once in a while so I'm not sure if maybe it's just because I was out in my driveway and I wasn't close enough for it. Uh, so I'm not really sure on that, but that's not a, too big of a deal. So um, I will have a link in the description for this. So if you want to check that out and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this video helps you out if you're interested in this uh, scan tool. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.